TPS had acted sooner. Do you think Colton Turner would be alive today? KXAN investigates holding the state agency in charge of keeping children safe accountable. After the death of Colton Turner today, we sit down with the man in charge. That man, Commissioner John Specia, admits the state's Department of Family and Protective Services failed Colton Turner. But he also says the agency is already changing the way it investigates child abuse and neglect allegations. But just how long will that take? KXA and investigator Robert Maxwell joining us, and he asked how many other children like Colton are out there? Well, knowing that, Robert and Shannon, is based on getting to cases in what's being called a timely basis, and that, we have learned, is not always happening. So, for the first time, we're hearing specifics on how DFPS leaders plan to do that in the months ahead, and it hinges on rebuilding the agency from the inside to avoid child deaths. Top of mind, of course, is Colton Turner. If CPS had acted sooner, do you think Colton Turner would be alive today? I don't think I can make give you an answer on whether Colton would be alive or not alive because I can't predict. I don't know what happened to Colton, but whatever happened to Colton happened by his mother and her paramour. Uh, we should have done our job. We should have seen Colton within appropriate time frames, and we didn't. Judge John Specia has headed up a troubled bureaucracy barely two years, and after leading one of two operational reviews, this longtime family court judge and child welfare advocate agrees DFPS needs fixing and fast. I don't want to wait for children to die to address gaps in policy, so we are reviewing comprehensively how our policies are organized. The goal, Judge Specia says, is to move quickly. This week, the first ever leadership training begins for 400 DFPS staff. In January, the watchword will be training mentorship as the agency moves most of its 12-week caseworker training academy into the field and out of the classroom. I've been involved with the system a long time. CPS is best when people are working together to get their job done and they're supporting each other. Now, Judge Specia also told me about the new child fatality review being put in place. It involves looking at what was done in every serious case and what was not. In the next few weeks, too, we'll have a better roadmap of the agency's transformations. That'll come with the first progress report. And we'll have much more with Commissioner John Specia tonight on KXAN News at 10, including who else could be fired over the Colton Turner tragedy. Robert Maxwell, KXAN Investigates. And as Robert first reported here last Friday night, employee retention remains a big issue at Child Protective Services. But a recent report found CPS also needs to put a bigger focus on recruiting high-quality staff members. The Stephen Group says the agency needs to become a top recruiter on college campuses. It needs to build stronger relationships with co college career offices and reach out to social work professors to build a larger pool of candidates. The Stephen Group also says a better marketing plan is needed that highlights the life-saving changes that caseworkers can make in Texas children's lives.